Hello, this is Luminous Star. Welcome to the channel. Narcissists often speak curses. Please, at the end of the video, like and or share. Check out the description box below for further details. Point number one. The emotions that narcissists have no issue expressing and feeling are fear, anger, hatred, and jealousy. Narcissists like to influence others to give up on the concepts of love, intimacy, balance, and health, just to name a few. All of these concepts can represent life. Narcissists have vowed to never love again. Therefore, he or she does not have any interest to connect to others for any reason at all. Okay, so most narcissists and cluster B personalities, they have decided they were not going to love anymore. And this was long, more than likely long before they met you. Okay. And even for those of you who have a cluster personality or a narcissist in your family, this also applies to you. You have nothing to do with the fact that he or she has chosen to take this vow and that is to not love. So he or she has no interest in connecting to not only you, but anyone else. They usually see other people as like game pieces on a game board to maneuver at his or her will. Narcissists and the cluster personality, they don't like to think that they cannot influence others, okay? So in other words, they want to be the source of your pain and your pleasure. They don't like to think that they don't have the ability to influence you or anyone else. However, what they would like to do is to have you give up on love, intimacy, balance, health, and to even have any hopes of relating to anyone else. And that is to detach from that part of themselves that can feel love and empathy for others. They've done this and they want to influence you to do the same. However, even though you may or may not do the same thing, he or she at the end of the day would like for you to be a source supply. They are loyal to their false self image only. The narcissist doesn't care about what you do or even who you are. They only care about getting the source supply from you. So they want to be the source of your pain and your pleasure. Let's move forward. Using foul language is one of the methods that narcissists use in order to curse others for source supply. So a lot of us who have had personal issues, okay, <laughs> with the narcissist and cluster personality, we all know that one of the things that the narcissist and the cluster personality does is they will use foul language, okay? They do this in order to intimidate or to invoke fear in others. They're trying to get others to submit to him or her. This is one way that they manipulate others to supply them. So they use foul language. Sometimes they may flip over chairs and they may get all loud and boisterous and, you know, just very outspoken. This, again, is a method that they use in order to get you to fear him or her. So you will submit to supplying him or her. So they will use foul language. The narcissist and or cluster personality, they will use foul language. But when it comes to cursing others... See, we're going to get a little bit deeper into that. There's a curse that they like to put on others. The narcissist and the cluster personality, they will curse others in order to obtain source supply from them. Usually a lifelong source supply. The foul language or the cursing doesn't just have to consist of bad words the way we know it. Okay, so when they start cursing others... This is to make sure that he or she becomes a lifelong source supply. So let's get into that right now. The narcissist curse language. Manipulation. Deceit or lies. Insults. Cursing or using bad words. Character assassination. Smear campaigning. Gossip and spreading rumors. All of this is under the curse or cursing other people in order to get a lifelong source supply. So let's look at a few of these. It, it's more than this, but I just wanted to name a few. Let's look at manipulation. 
This is one way that the narcissist curses other people in order to obtain source supply. Deceit is another way. Or they keep telling you lies. Or they will give you half truths. They will insult others, calling them out of their names. Again, all of this is another way of cursing people in order to obtain source supply. Character assassination. The character assassination that the narcissist will use is in order to get other people to believe and or think that the targeted prey is a person who is a very undesirable and unfavorable person. In other words, they are the narcissist and the narcissist is them. So it's like they're swapping the narcissist way of swapping identities with the targeted prey. The targeted prey more than likely is a person that is not like the narcissist. The narcissist is probably jealous of the person. Those are one of the four emotions that I mentioned in a previous slide in this video. Jealousy is one of the, the emotions that narcissists have no problem expressing or feeling. So if jealousy is one of the emotions or feelings that the narcissist has for the targeted prey, then this is where the character assassination will come in. They will try to convince others that the targeted prey is a very unfavorable and undesirable person because he or she is not trustworthy when that is not usually true. However, the narcissist is the one who's usually not trustworthy. But due to manipulation, they usually are successful in getting certain other people to go for the BS. In other words, they go for the lie. There's the other curse, deceit or lies. So the narcissist is usually successful with this. Not all the time, but they usually are. Then you have the smear campaigning, which is very similar to the character assassination. The narcissist and or cluster personality is attempting to make the targeted prey or current source supply a person who is very untrustworthy or very unfavorable or very undesirable. The narcissist and the cluster personality is cursing the individual in order to obtain source supply from the individual as well as others who go for the lie or go for the character assassination and the smear campaigning. In other words, they believe the narcissist lies. All of this is right up under the umbrella of cursing, gossiping, and spreading rumors. In other words, again, telling lies and manipulating others and all of this is for source supply. So this is how the narcissist curses others in order to obtain source supply. Unfortunately, when it comes to the narcissist and or cluster personality, this goes on way too often. The narcissist and the cluster personality, they are very good at cursing or attempting to curse others. This is not to be tolerated, actually. Unfortunately, there are some who tolerate it. Because the narcissist and a cluster personality, they're very good at making themselves look like, again, here's the manipulation and the deceit, they're very good at making themselves look like they can benefit the source supply and benefit others that they do manipulate. They pass themselves off as a trustworthy person or a person who's loving and caring when that is not true. And the people who really are trustworthy and loving, they are looked upon as if they're the narcissist. This again is how the narcissist curses others or attempts to curse others. And all the while, they get the source supply. Tool number one, practice not answering to negative speech from the narcissist. Now this is a tough one, especially if one fears the narcissist. The narcissist, for example, the narcissist may start to curse and, you know, use foul language and bad language, and they may even threaten physical harm. 
This is very tough not to answer that person if a person is in fear of the narcissist. It's very tough. But with practice, it can be done. I'm not going to even sugarcoat it. This one, this particular tool, is very tough to do. I've been in this situation, okay, several times. I've been in a situation where the cluster B personality threatened physical harm and used foul language. I'm not going to even sugarcoat it, okay? So this is a tough one. So when you answer the negative speech, that means you are in agreement. When a person answers the negative speech of a narcissist, that is letting the universe know that that person is in agreement with the narcissist's curses. So when the, in other words, it's like giving the narcissist permission to curse you. So by answering the negative speech from the narcissist, that means that a person is in agreement to the curses. That's why I said too, number one is very tough, very tough to do, but it's very effective and very much the game changer. I would not share this with you if I have not already been successful in doing this. Easier said than done. It is. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I just want to make it very clear that this is what I've learned. Whenever we answer the negative speech of someone else, we are letting the universe know that we are in agreement to being cursed. Second tool. Question and investigate information that the narcissist may give you. More than likely, he or she has either distorted or fabricated the information in order to manipulate you. That one is self-explanatory. Let's move on to the third tool. Learn how to trust yourself more than the narcissist. He or she probably has not proven to you that they are trustworthy. A lot of narcissists and cluster personalities, they are not trustworthy. Yet, due to manipulation, some are duped into thinking he or she is trustworthy. Learn how to trust yourself more than the narcissist. That also is a toughie. I want to thank everybody for joining me today or tonight. I'm Luminous Star. My stars, special shout out. Mwah. Thank you for your subscription. Thank you for motivating me and inspiring me to keep Luminous Star active. If this is your first time visiting Luminous Star, I certainly hope you come back again. Join us by hitting that subscription button below. Become a part of the Star family. Stay tuned for more videos.